Hey! Hello, hello, hello. I know this is kind of impromptu, but uh, I wanted to come jump back on here and share, uh, just share a couple of things from yesterday. Um, I know you guys have, uh, <clears throat> it was a long session yesterday, and you probably have a little bit of burnout about this, but um, I just couldn't help but jumping back on here for a minute and give you a quick update. So today, <clears throat> I went back in and I uh, printed everything. I printed all the negatives and actually they're toned and hanging in the dark room behind me right now. I even did a little extra one. I went ahead and printed that little, this guy, right? How do I do this? This way, this guy right here, printed that little negative as well too. Um, and uh, cause I had an extra piece of paper. So I, wanted to show you a couple of things um i did different toning um times on them and i'll show you these eventually too um the the actual prints but um people asked me they didn't we didn't get to go through the whole process yesterday so last night or yesterday afternoon what i did is i jumped um uh, let them dry they curl up this is this is what i wanted to tell you about when you're doing collodion chloride, it doesn't matter. You're putting a layer of basically plastic nitrocellulose over the, the image there. And you have, uh, you have paper on the back, plastic on the front. The plastic dries and it'll twist that paper up real good. And so you have to, uh, you have to manage that. And how I do it um, is I have... Uh, Let's see, video resolution. Oh, I, I got something here. I don't know what's going on, but uh, current bit rate is higher than the recommended. Oh, okay. Why is that? Um, let me see. switch over. Paper twists and curls when it dries. And so what I do is I unfurl it, and I, I have a heat press over here. Uh, I don't know, 16 by 20, 20 by 24, I guess, actually. And I have a piece of fiber uh, paper in there, acid free. And I slip the, the prints in, I unfurl them, slip them in, keep them flat because they want to curl back up and I close the press. And I do about 180 degrees Fahrenheit, 90, 95 Celsius for about five minutes. Uh, it seems to work really well and um, they flatten out very nicely. Hey Sasha, how you doing buddy? Good to see ya. I'm um, just going to give a quick update here and, and show a couple of things in here. Um, so then what do I do after? The questions were, okay, you got the print done. They look good. Uh, they dry. What happens? Do they dry flat? Do, you know, how do you handle them afterwards? And it's kind of a post-production question. So like I said, I take the print down. It's all curled up. It looks like a, almost like a cigarette, those small prints. And they'll curl big time unfurl it, get your uh, press heated up. You can, uh, I don't have a press. That's another thing. Quinn, I don't have a press. So what you want to do is you want to take a, a, a clothes iron and you can use a clothes iron and do the same thing, but you got to watch the heat. You don't want to go over about 90, 95 Celsius or about 100 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit and just smooth them out again between a piece of paper, use your iron and, and flatten the print out. <clears throat> and then what happens I end up put doing something like this. Uh, so this is just a, a matte board cut. It's quite thick. Um, and I just mat and uh, archival tape on the back. And then you're ready to frame. I think this is uh, three, 30 centimeters, 12 inches by 12 inches. So it kind of matches the image. This is the uh, toned one. Hey, <laughs> good. I'm glad you came in, Sasha. I was I, I didn't expect anyone in here really extra one I wanted to have that one I got a whole slug of uh, some of my images over there and I wanted to have that one printed and kind of mounted up I love to put them on matte board you can do you, you can do whatever you want really um, <clears throat> one of the things that I like and maybe maybe you like it maybe you don't um, that litho tape around the corners makes a nice white edge like that um, you know, that's a personal preference, whatever you prefer, you know, whatever you prefer, whatever you don't, that's all up to you. Um, where's this negative? Let me pull this negative out real quick. Um, man, I wish I, and I'll show you these tomorrow or next time we meet, whenever that might be. Here's the negative for this one. 
So here's the negative for this one. So you get an idea, the density, this ended up being, this ended up being a 10 minute print. I made another one today for the, for the book, uh, for the book sales. So this ended up being a 10 minute print, which looks just really beautiful. I toned it, the, the, the one that hanging in there down just a little bit more, but man, I just, they, they just turned out lovely. I just had a very good time printing today. And I just wanted to, like I said, just wanted to jump in and uh, answer some of those questions rather than typing the emails out. Um, you know, what do you do after you're printing, blah, blah, blah. So just to recap one more time, really quickly, you print it out, <clears throat> you wash the free silver from the print, right? Remember the, the uh, you can watch that mucky, muddy. And if, you, if you're on well water or something with zero PPM or you don't have any chloramines or chloride in your water, you might have to add a pinch of salt into your water, right? So if you're using really clean water, you won't get that um, precipitate. You won't get that bonding and pull that silver off the print. So <clears throat> regular tap water, most anywhere in America and even Europe will work fine. Once you see that gray, that, that interaction of the silver being, quote, contaminated, right, with that organic material, once that's cleared off the print, now you're ready to either fix or tone, whichever you prefer. A lot of people, we did both yesterday, a lot of people prefer toning before fixing. They feel like they don't lose as much density. You know, you don't have that density reduction. But either way, it doesn't, it's fine either way you want to go. After that, whether you fix or you tone, you uh, wash the print, wash it very well. I, I like to wash, you know, between 10 and 20 minutes for these or, or is sufficient. Um, in a nice streaming running water around 20 degrees Celsius or so, 68 Fahrenheit's good. And then <clears throat> after they're washed, I actually like to squeegee them, have a really good clean pan, glass pan. I like to use the glass Pyrex pans and uh, pour some gold tone in, uh, turn your timer on. I start with one minute. Sometimes I do two minutes. Sometimes I do three minutes. Just depends on what you want the print to look like, right? Tone that out. Wash it again for a few minutes, couple, three, four, five minutes, whatever you want, just to get the toner off of it. I like to squeegee it off again. I hang it up. I weight it. Then they have to dry. And this is what I was talking about earlier, just a few minutes ago. It, they dry and they curl up really bad. You got paper on one side, plastic or nitrocellulose on the other side. It dries and it curls. <clears throat> 95 Celsius. Acid-free paper. Unfurl the print. Slip it in. Close the press, uh, press down five minutes you don't have a press heat up a clothes iron do the same thing it ends up nice and flat you can kind of see that there nice and flat um, and then either mount them do whatever you want with them that way that's basically what i do so that's start to finish once you have a good negative once you understand how to make your emulsion for this process bingo you're on it so I appreciate yesterday, everybody coming in. You're probably going to watch this after it's live. Sasha's in here. That's cool. I'd love to see him. But um, for the rest of you, those are the questions. I'm going to refer to this video. If you, if you send me an email about it, I'll just refer you to this bit video, show you what I've done. Uh, the next time we meet, I'll show, well, actually, I'd have to do it before those be, then because those prints are going out Tuesday in the book. Um, hey, Pat, good to see you, brother. Um, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, that that does. I that does. Thank you. I like I like the look of that. That's normal. That's my mo. That's what I like to do. You put a nice frame around here. Um, they they make nice pieces. You know, do a little series of them. You can title them or whatever if you want down here. But I I like to just sign them and have them like that. So that's the that's the post production on these collodio chloride prints. Um, like I said, I'll, maybe I'll have to jump back in here to, again tomorrow. I think I will, because I'm going to flatten these and show them to you. They're really, uh, they're really good. Good afternoon, Pat. Yeah, it's. I guess it's noon here in Denver. Here in Colorado, it's it's 12:02. So, um, decent weather. Not the greatest. A little windy. <clears throat> One more thing. I just thought about this. I didn't show you guys this yesterday, but I do multiple prints normally. Uh, when I'm not when I'm not packing a laptop around and things trying to do the, the live video shows and I use rocks I have a I'm <laughs> just thinking about this I have river rock out here in my in my garden my yard and I, I've gone out and found eight or 16 rocks that are nice and flat 
And another thing this chlorine chloride paper will do, even when it's wet, let alone it's dried, it's, it curls up. So if you want to wash it, I put four rocks in the, on the corner of the prints in each pan, and I can wash it, I can fix it. Toning, I hold it down so I can, you, you saw me yesterday, I get that toner washing around it. But when I'm doing multi, multiple prints, I get the rocks and, and put them on. So I did, I guess I did five or six prints this morning. Um, how, uh, Pat says, how did you mount the print on the back? This is just acid-free archival tape. Uh, works really well, holds really well, especially on this mat board. I'll probably write something on the back of this print there, but it, it flattens it out really nicely, holds it down really nice. You see that? Yeah. Uh, and once this gets in a frame, it'll have another back on it to hold that and then the frame around it and the glass. You're, you're, you're good to go. You're golden with that. So works really well. This is the thing. Um, printing is wonderful because um, you don't need any special, like you've seen some of my glass plates with the little brass wires and tin types are a little difficult because you've got to adhe ad adhere them somehow and glass is heavier. You got to put the brass wires on them and uh, whatever you're going to do. It makes it a little difficult. This is traditional printing and, and mounting and framing. So once you have your prints up, man, you, you know, the world's your oyster. You can, you can do whatever you want. And once these get, you know, matted and framed and on the wall or in a gallery, they, they're just, they're absolutely lovely. So, and make sure you use everything you use, make sure it's acid free. You don't want, especially if you're selling your work or, you know, um, exhibiting it, you don't, you don't want to have, uh, you don't want to have anything uh, lower quality, uh, something that, you know, when we say acid free, we mean material that will not off gas and uh, destroy your print. You know, this is silver chloride. So this tone, it's got gold in there as well, too. It's kind of an amalgam, uh, um, a mixture, if you will, of gold and silver. So, yeah, very nice. I, I agree. Very nice effect. You can see I have a deep bevel on this uh, mat here. I don't know. Can you see that? Maybe, maybe not. You can see I have a deep bevel there. So. Uh, probably four millimeter. It's really, it's nice and deep. I like to, because the print, if you could see this in real life, you'd see there's, there's, there's real depth to it. So get down here. Let me see. Put maybe this corner. Yeah, that's, that's better. It shows you a little better. Yeah. So that's how I do it or typically how I do it. Uh, not always. Uh, like I said, you can do anything you want with these. So so that's it. That's uh, for you guys in here. If you have any questions about this mounting, holler at me here. Um, while I'm here, I'll give you another couple minutes and see see if we come up with anything. I see you in the chat, and um, it's kind of funny. Yeah, they keep telling me my, my resolution on my video is not high quality. I don't know why. I just checked my bandwidth this morning. It was fine, so a little bit of a delay, but... So do you have anything else or uh, I just wanted to pop in, make this a real quick one. If not, I'll see you. I'll, I'll probably hop in tomorrow, actually. Um, it's a federal holiday in America here. It is President's Day, ironically enough. Um, <laughs> and uh, nothing's running. So I can't send the books out. I can't send the prints out. Those will happen Tuesday. I'll pop in here um, tomorrow and show you these other prints. They're drying now. In fact, I'll show you the curl dot print and I'll show you how I unfurl it, put it in my press. I'll show you the end result. I put it under glass for a few minutes while it's hot. It cools off, structure becomes uh, nice and rigid and you end up with that. You end up with a nice flat print that you can mount up just with some good archival tape. So. Hop in tomorrow. Um, I'll, I'll jump on here again in the morning and show you the, the, the process of that. And if you're not here live, if you are, jump on in and ask whatever as I go through it. If you're not, you can watch this later. And uh, if you absolutely have to, you can send me an email or whatever, a message, and I'm happy to answer anything. So have the great uh, rest of the great Sunday, afternoon, evening, wherever you might be, and we'll catch you tomorrow. Ciao.